pretty good, pretty good. Just uh, going through this uh, NBA uh, draft process. And it's a pretty uh, pressure-filled process, pretty rigorous right now with the uh, the NBA Combine and tryouts. Uh, tell us how everything's going. What are you up to? Uh, going pretty good, but uh, it, is, it is rigorous. Uh, a lot of traveling and a lot of, uh, you know, miles, uh, you know, being made uh, pretty much going from uh, city to city, working out for each team. I got a total of uh, 13 workouts, and uh, it, it doesn't stop until June June 21st, two days before the draft. So it's a lot going on. Do you end up, like, waking up in a hotel and not even knowing what city you're in? <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I usually know what city I'm in. Usually the time. The time change gets me a little bit, uh, you know, uh, as far as that goes. But, um, you know, I've been living in a hotel for about the last two, two and a half months now. <laughs> Absolutely. We're talking to former Buckeye NBA draft prospect David Lighty here on 97.1 The Fan. You're projected anywhere mid to late first round, maybe second round. What if scouts, what if GMs, what are the people in charge who actually know their stuff tell you? Uh, I mean, it, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, I mean, it, it's a lot of in my hands as well, uh, going into the workouts and, and how I perform and how I do. And, uh, I mean, a lot of teams just uh, tell you, you know, uh, that they've seen what you can do, that this workout is not going to be the only thing that they're judging you on. But, you know, it, it helps to perform well, you know, uh, during during the workout and, and maybe uh, open up their eyes to things that, that – they didn't know that you can do that. That you can do. I saw a quote of yours from a couple of weeks ago in a newspaper article talking about you know you have you like all the other prospects have lots of room to improve. Uh, you know personally, what are you trying to improve on in your game? Uh, for me, it's uh, you know I think I'm an overall player who, who likes to do a little bit of everything. So it's just continuing to prove on all of that. Uh, you know my shooting, being consistent with that. You know night in and night out, uh, ball handling as well. You know, I think uh, going to the next level. I'll, I'll be in a position where I, I will handle the ball a little bit more depending on, you know, what team I'm with and things like that, what offense they run. And, uh, uh, you know, just finishing, you know, it's an athletic and fast-paced game. So it's a lot of uh, uh, taller players and a lot of players who can jump and block shots and things like that. So finishing over, uh, you know, big guys in the paint is uh, pretty much the things I've been working on. Joined here on 97.1 The Fan by former Buckeye David Lighty, NBA draft prospect. You're one of the best defenders in this upcoming NBA draft. Do you feel like you have to prove to NBA teams that you're more than just a great defender? Um, uh, I mean, maybe – uh. Shooting-wise, things like that, I think they, they've seen my improvement, uh, especially from the three-point line and my percentages, you know, from year to year. So I think I've proven myself as uh, being a capable shooter. But uh, maybe some things that they didn't know uh, that I can do, uh, you know, being more aggressive on the offensive end and, you know, creating plays for, for not only myself but my teammates. So uh, that might be something that, uh, you know, kind of an eye-opener for, for guys when I get in the workouts. As you mentioned, you've worked out with a lot of individual teams and you still got several more to go. Have any stood out to you like, hey, this is a place where I could see myself really fitting in or this is an organization I could really, you know, work out well with? Um, I, I would say all all of them pretty much. Uh, I think uh, all of the teams that I go to, I, I can see myself fitting into it uh, just because of how I play. Uh, you know, I, I'm a, a guy who can, you know, fit in in different types of situations and, and play different roles to come and help the team and, you know, I'm just hoping to hear my name called on June 23rd. And, uh, you know, wh whatever team it is, you know, I'll be ready to go hitting the ground running. We're hoping so as well. All right, let me ask a couple Buckeye questions. We'll let you go. You had some phenomenal individual games. You had some phenomenal team games at Ohio State. What's your best – looking back now, you've had a couple months to reflect. What's your best memory from Buckeye basketball? Uh, best memory? is so, so many memories. <laughs> sure. Uh, what, what one stands out? Best memory, I would say uh, senior night. Uh, you know, winning the Big Ten championship, you know, playing in front of the crowd, you know, one last time and being in the shot scene arena and, uh, you know, kissing the, 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 the Buckeye uh, in the middle of the floor before I walked off. Uh, I mean, it's something that will be with me forever. It was pretty cool celebrating with the fans on the floor that afternoon or that evening too. Oh, yeah, most definitely, most definitely, and uh, especially back-to-back -back Big Ten championships. So, uh, you know, hopefully they bring a third one there next year. Yeah, real quick on that note, you're pretty familiar with this coming year's team. You know a lot of the guys, and I'm sure you know probably some of the incoming freshmen. What do you say to Buckeye fans who are getting ready for 2011-2012? We looking at a pretty good team? Be excited. Be excited. Uh, it's going to be a real good team, you know, especially with the guys they got coming in and the pieces that they have coming back. Uh, it's going to be real exciting. And I think the sky's the limit for them. So uh, when the guys, the freshman guys come in, it's about – you know, how quickly they get acclimated to the to college game. And I think the quicker they do that, the better they're going to be. So 
uh, definitely see them uh, doing big things next year. Looking forward to hearing your name called here in a couple weeks, David. Thank you so much. We'll hopefully talk to you soon. Uh, Thank you. Appreciate it.